Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on the Yukio Craft server. I'm DK and uh, a lot has happened since the last time we were together because I have been live streaming a lot and man things have definitely changed around here. So first of all we have the sheep farm. You've probably seen the tutorial for that on the channel already. And over on this side this huge monstrosity here is actually a massive sugarcane farm that is pumping out just insanely stupid amounts of sugarcane per hour here. Along with that, we've uh, we've made some other changes as well. You can see we have our enchanting room out back here, and uh, over on this side. What? What is that? Um. But. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've I've I haven't seen this house yet. Let's uh let's let's go up here and take a look real quick and see exactly what's up here. Man, I don't know who built this house, but they They sure built this thing up here. It's it's almost like they didn't want they didn't want anybody to see it. It's They definitely made this a pain to get up to, and I'm sure they have some way of getting up here. I mean, they they must. They, they can't just be doing this every single time. This is a gorgeous house! I absolutely love it. Let's take a look on the inside. I heard a dog. Oh, I do! We have... Oh! Okay, I know, whoa. I know exactly whose house this is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the newest edition of the Minecraft server, his house. This is Stev's house, and as you can see, Stev has been uh, been hard at work here. Now, we're not going to intrude on Stev's things. We're not going to look inside of his chest. Uh... No, we shouldn't do that, but we will tell Fade, his dog, he's a good boy. So, the... It appears the server is expanding with more members all the time, guys, and, uh... Some of them have beautiful houses going on already. I absolutely love it. So we'll uh, we'll definitely have to go check back on Stev and see his progress as as things are going on here. But man, yeah, uh, I'm excited to have more people on here. That begs the question: Is anybody else joined on here that I haven't seen yet? So some of you may remember from Yukio Craft episode two, we have a uh, warrior or someone on Earth whose house is. Perilous jump! Oh, failed it. Broke my legs. Something terrible. Alright, so now that we're in the village, ladies and gentlemen, we can kind of check up on our other resident here that we already know. We can see someone on Earth, uh, aka Warrior, who uh, hasn't done a whole lot to his house here, but you can see that he has a door, or doors, finally, and some chests, and a couple beds. So he's uh, he's making good progress in long terms. <laughs> Warriors got his own farm over here. It says Warriors do not steal. He's got more signs. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. <gasps> Warriors farm do not steal. Okay, we we won't touch anything on his farm here. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I love that sign so much. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, after much journeying, I have found our final resident, and it looks like he has set himself up inside of a village already. So our final resident that we have on the server right now is Alex. And... Alex is, he's just taken straight, he's taken over this village. You can see his villagers down here. He's just made himself right at home in here, which is absolutely fantastic. I love it. So we'll have to get in touch with Alex and see exactly what he's doing and what he's working on at this point. But it looks like he's got big things planned and I cannot wait to see exactly what he does. So we'll catch back with him, but for right now, We've got like 500 blocks left to go just to get back to our house. So I'm going to head that way and I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. 
All right, so ladies and gentlemen, after literally an entire day of traveling, we have made it back home. Thank goodness. So let's uh, let's sleep through the night real quick, and we can catch back up on everything else is going before we start on our big project today. So uh, a few things have changed. You can see, we've got an anvil now. We have a cart, or we have a millstone to disenchant things, and we also have just oodles of supplies. We've got a stack and a half of diamonds. We've got three stacks of iron, diamond horse armor, name tags, all of these crazy things, crazy stupid amounts of materials going on here. Uh, and we even had enough levels earlier on to be able to use our enchanting room to its fullest and be able to give ourselves the ultimate pickaxe. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, and Efficiency 4. And to get an Efficiency 4 and Fortune 3 Iron Pickaxe. As well as a gnarly bow, a gnarly couple bows from fishing. And some axes. And you can see I have a lot of cobblestone here. And that's because I've, uh... I've been starting on something. And as we walk over to it, you should be able to see it appear in the distance. Just right up here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of our mega base for this season. And well, let me tell you, it is going to be an insane base indeed. It doesn't look like much right now because this is just the rough groundwork so I could make sure that I had the size correct here. But what's going to happen, what my plan is is my plan is to make this kind of an aged and ruined castle that's slowly being reclaimed by the earth. So we, uh, we have a lot of work left to do on this. This is just two out of six pillars that are going to be built to make the wall of this castle. And let me get you up to this. So if you look, I mean, they're huge. We come up to the top of this one via the tree. The tops of these are almost as big as my house. And the inside is just... It's very empty right now. But I promise, there's there's going to be stuff going in here. So I, I think we need to do some work on this today. I have two of these built. And I'd very, very, very much like to get a third one built. Today. And I hope you guys will join me for this. But I don't think I can do this, uh... I don't think I can do this live. I think I'm gonna have to do this in the form of a montage. Or a time lapse. So, I will send you guys over that way. As we throw this potato at the horse. As soon as it hits it, we will be in time lapse mode. And I will see you shortly. Ha!
All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we are finally back. That was a solid close to an hour and 20 minutes of nothing but building on this thing. But even just standing back here and looking at this, this thing is absolutely insane. I mean, if we even just come back over here and just, like, take a look at the massive scale of this. Now, I want to say one thing. This is obviously not complete and nowhere near what the final design is going to look like. This is just me roughing in everything so I can get a, I can get a decent look at what, uh, what the final product is going to be. So, this, if you can't tell already, this is going to be a castle, but it's, it's going to be more than that. This is going to be a ruined castle. This is going to be a castle that is the victim of a long forgotten war um that has caused the castle to be battered and broken and it sat here for long enough that it's starting to be engulfed by the landslide you know everything is starting to uh nature's starting to reclaim what was once it what was once its own now you can't really see it with these front two. These are these are just mock-ups, so I could see kind of the scale that I was gonna go with. But with this back one, you can see the insert of the dirt, the missing chunks, the things that are are gonna make this uh, super interesting, and it's it's gonna give it a story. Not to mention the fact that we have so much left to do on this project, from adding walls to adding in the actual castle structure itself that's gonna extend underground to everything that we have to do this is going to be a a massive build just by the scale that you can see right here so make sure and stay tuned for more because we're we're gonna be putting lots and lots and lots of work into this but unfortunately for now, that's all the time that we have. This has been an incredibly long session, but it's been very productive. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I am DK. If you like what you saw, make sure and like the video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your ideas for what you would like to see for the rest of this castle build. And if you want to see the rest of it, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.